Hello everyone and thank you for inviting me here. I'm delighted to be speaking to you at this Impact Offshore Wind webinar. And I'm coming to you from the lands of the Wurundjeri people and I wish to acknowledge them as traditional owners. I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging and Aboriginal elders from other communities who may be here today. Victoria is the home of the offshore wind industry in Australia, offering abundant opportunity for investors and developers, while we create thousands of jobs in this exciting new sector. The development of this new sector will build upon the government's strong track record in supporting new energy technologies. We have set strong legislated renewable energy targets, which will see 50% of our electricity come from renewable sources by 2030, creating more than 24,000 jobs. And we've already smashed our first renewable energy target of 25% by 2020. As a result, renewable energy generation in Victoria jumped by 3.8 terawatt hours in 2021. This is the largest annual increase by any Australian state ever. We were also the leading Australian state for total wind and solar generation in 2021, beating out all other jurisdictions with a total output of nearly 10,000 gigawatt hours. And finally, we've created more jobs in renewables than any other state in Australia. We've also committed to halve our emissions by 2030 and have already reduced greenhouse gas emissions by more than any other state since 2014. As part of our 2020-21 state budget, we announced a record $1.6 billion clean energy package, the largest investment in renewables ever made by an Australian state government. It includes our Renewable Energy Zone Development Plan, supported by the $540 million Renewable Energy Zone Fund, which will unlock extra capacity in the transmission network for large-scale renewable energy across the state. In addition to our ambitious policy framework, Victoria has many other factors that make it the natural home for Australia's offshore wind industry. The most important is our world-class natural wind resources, which is the best in Australia. Across the state, we have consistently high commercially viable wind speeds. We also have a relatively shallow and stable seafloor, which is ideal for fixed platform developments. Our supporting infrastructure and skill base will also deliver efficiencies and our offshore wind sites are close to transmission lines. Investors and developers can access our deep experience in engineering and advanced manufacturing, established supply chains and access to aviation hubs and Australia's busiest seaport. Earlier this month, the Premier announced our government's new ambitious offshore wind targets committing to a 2032 offshore wind target for Victoria of at least two gigawatts and aiming for first power by 2028, following a competitive process. We have also set targets to reach four gigawatts of offshore wind capacity by 2035 and nine gigawatts by 2040. These targets position Victoria as Australia's leader in offshore wind development, and it will create thousands of new renewable energy jobs new supply chains and new industry subsectors. We estimate that the development of offshore wind could ultimately lead to 13 gigawatts of capacity, generating up to 6,100 jobs. Developing this industry could have huge implications across the state, and we will work with communities, investors, unions and businesses to maximise the opportunities of this new industry. We will also work with traditional owners from the start of developing the state's offshore wind resource by developing a new model of engagement with renewable energy projects based on principles that align with traditional owner aspirations for self-determination and economic independence. And we are already taking steps to deliver the first offshore wind project in Victoria. In November last year, the Premier and I announced that three offshore wind projects would receive almost $38 million to conduct feasibility studies from round one of our Energy Innovation Fund. Together, these projects have the potential to deliver more than 5,500 jobs and $18 billion in investment and provide more than 40% of Victoria's electricity generation. The three successful projects are the Star of the South Offshore Wind Project, a proposed 2.2 gigawatt wind farm off the Gippsland coast. Flotation Energy Sea Drain and Offshore Wind Farm, a proposed 1.5 gigawatt wind farm also off the Gippsland coast. 
and Macquarie Group's Great Southern Offshore Wind Farm, a proposed one gigawatt wind farm off the Bass Coast. We are so pleased that these businesses understand that Victoria is the home of offshore wind, but that does not happen by accident. It requires genuine ambition, coupled with the right policy settings, and that is exactly what our government is delivering. Victoria has led the transition to clean energy over the past eight years, and our commitment to the offshore wind sector will provide the foundation for the next phase of that transition. With abundant wind resources to harness sophisticated supply chain capabilities and strong economic credentials, Victoria has much to offer. The additional renewable energy capacity offshore wind delivers will help smooth the transition as old, unreliable coal-fired powered stations exit the market. It will also provide thousands of jobs and billions of investment for regional Victoria. Together, we can drive generational change to a modern energy system with offshore wind energy as a key and lasting component. I hope you enjoy the rest of this webinar. Thank you.